Hi, my name is Norma, and this is Aaron, and we're going to talk about what we've been doing during uh, the coronavirus pan pandemic. So, Aaron, how has your home life changed? Um, I feel like, honestly, after the whole pandemic, my relationship with my family members has been a little bit better because I actually see them every day, unlike um, regularly how I just go to school for six hours, come back, do my, do my homework, eat, and maybe talk to them a little bit. But now I, I'm actually getting the time, like go to them, hang out with them. I feel like my relationship has been better. How about you? It's been good in some ways because I had a really active life before the pandemic. And, you know, my husband used to say I was gone all the time. I'm home all the time now. <laughs> uh, and he likes that. And I like that too. I've, I've been doing a lot of hobbies online and doing a lot of activities that I used to do in person, I do online. One thing that I've done for several years is to take art classes at the Waterfront Center. And I take drawing and watercolor. So I get plenty of art that way. And then I'm in a couple of other art groups that meet like once a month or, you know, once every six weeks or something. I put all of the things behind me. So everything you see on my wall, I did during class, except for these mandalas, which I learned to do on my own. That was one of the things I learned to do on YouTube. I've taken classes in things that I never thought you know, I would be interested in just because they're available online. Facebook has a bunch of classes, especially art classes, but you can go to YouTube and do and and search for how to whatever it is you want to do. Um, I have an uncle who took up woodworking. He had never done woodworking in his life. And oh my gosh, he's making this beautiful high-end furniture. It's amazing. The guy was a, a a real estate executive who knew you know That's it's just very cool a couple of other things that I would like to encourage uh older people to do is you know to stay connected using technology my church is shut down because we have a lot of older people at church and so I've been going to church in Las Vegas and Hawaii online it's really cool <laughs> I've been going on and on forever. So <laughs> tell me what you've been doing with school activities and your hobbies. I mean, right now I'm a junior and usually uh -huh. junior is the year where you would like, there, it, it'd be the most, there's like the most workload probably. Uh, so it's pretty, pretty hard, especially because I'm trying to take harder classes this year and also trying to get more extracurriculars, like um, joining different clubs. And honestly, it, it's kind of difficult, I feel like, because um, sometimes like during my classes, I get like distracted and stuff. So it's pretty hard to focus in um, during classes. And I don't know. It's so tempting, especially because when you like see your phone right next to you, it's hard not to look when you get a notification. So that's one thing that kind of has been a downside. Overall, I feel like this year I've been doing more extra correct curriculars, but I really regret not doing like or starting any last year, especially because it just, Corona just happened just so suddenly and I, I don't think anyone expected it. But I have a question for you. Out of some adjustments that we have made, like talking through Zoom and things like that, which do you think you will continue doing? Like which one do you think that you really like and you would want to continue doing? I know I'm going to keep doing the ASL classes because my husband's hearing impaired and I have to go to the doctor with him and stuff so he can communicate. So I know I'm going to keep doing that. I am absolutely going to keep doing this art chat as long as my friend wants to do it because it's so much fun. And I love not having to get dressed up, not having to go to Seattle and the not having to go somewhere and and allow for driving time and parking time and all that has been uh, allowed me to do more things actually than I would have otherwise. But those are the main things. Um, during quarantine, I feel like um, especially in the beginning when it just happened, all the classes or like all the Zooms felt very optional for school. So I had more time than now because now it's kind of required. But I thought um, I had a lot of time for like doing stuff. Uh, I, I think I started like cooking and baking more. I found I kind of really like it. It seems like so therapeutic because when you're done, you get to enjoy the food. <laughs> so, yeah, that's something I've been doing a lot recently.
Uh, I'm trying to uh, keep in touch with my friends, especially because usually even before quarantine, we would usually just uh, call and play games online together anyways. So it's it's not that big of a, an adjustment, but it kind of feels like kind of boring at home. So what I've been trying to do is grocery shopping, <laughs> like just like going outside grocery shopping because sometimes I just don't want to stay home, but I don't really want to like risk like having like the risks. So I grocery shopping is something I already have to do or my family has to do. So I just go along with them. I wondered about what you're doing with staying in touch with relatives that don't live with you. Oh, uh, so the majority of my family um, are from Thailand. So I, I usually just call them anyways. There's like a 15 hour time difference. So it's pretty hard, like trying to find a time to call them. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I've been FaceTiming uh, my aunts, um, Instagramming with my um, my cousins. It's it's pretty uh, fine because I don't really get to see them in person anyways, not unless like traveling to Thailand, which my family does every two years, but because of COVID this summer, we didn't go. So hopefully after the vax, everybody gets vaccinated, we can go and I can finally see my family because I kind of miss them. <laughs> sure, yeah. Well, you know, my mother-in-law, she passed this year, but she was 90 and she was on Pinterest she was on FaceTime. She was, I mean, she was just tearing up her iPad. And it was so cool to see her doing that because, you know, even though she lived in a nursing home, she found ways to stay connected with people. And I was really inspired by that. So it's, it's cool when you can find ways to stay close to people that don't, aren't necessarily in your COVID bubble, you know? Yeah. So how do you think it'll be different next year at school? A lot of people think that we're going to go to school next year, which um, I guess there are downsides and uh, upsides. I'm kind of I'm kind of happy, honestly, because I just want to see my friends and not stay home all day because I, I don't think I'd ever say that ever because especially last year because I love staying home and now it seems kind of like repetitive and kind of boring. How about you? Yeah, um, I don't think, well, the one thing that'll be different for me is, oh, one thing I did was I had this jar mm -hmm. and every time I think of something I wanna do after the pandemic, I write it down and I put it in the jar. And it's a lot of, you know, like places my husband and I wanna go or people I wanna go see and that kind of thing. And so one thing that we're gonna do is take something out of the jar every week and do something that we haven't been able to do. So um, that's what one thing I am looking forward to is emptying my uh, COVID jar. <laughs> Honestly, that seems so fun. I, I feel like that's something I would kind of want to do too. Oh, I don't know if I told you this. Another thing I did this year was I had a garden for the first time in 15 years. Okay, I got started late because I got this idea late. So I mean, I <laughs> I spent $50 on plants and stuff. And I got like six little beings this big. I mean, it was terrible. It was this, it was the most pathetic garden I've ever had. But I got to get out, dig in the dirt, have a reason to be outside on a regular basis. <sighs> I missed my outside time. <laughs> Same. Yeah, I haven't thought about gardening yet. I feel like that's something very interesting, but I have gardened like a couple of times, like making an avocado plant and also like um, chilies, but that hasn't gone out well because they all died. <laughs> but honestly, I want to give it a go, especially because um, the more that I'm cooking, I feel like like growing things like, like the simple things, kind of like rosemary, something in your yard, like yeah. um, herbs would be very nice to have. It makes your yard smell good too. Yeah. So you didn't cook before very much? Yeah, I did cook a little bit, but after like during quarantine, I had more time to like try like challenging things, something that I didn't mm -hmm. do before. And it's also very nice to like have your family try your food and then get the reaction. They're kind of like the judges. So like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, I made something. I can't remember what it was, but it was really horrible. And my son said, epic fail, mom. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I'm glad you found something new to do that you really like. And you know, women love a man that can cook for them. So, you know, <laughs> you're going to be set when you get older. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just delighted to get to know you and figure okay. out, you know, find out what people in school are doing because I don't have anybody in school. Mm. So thanks for sharing that with me. Oh, thank you too for sharing your your ways that you're trying to feel more um, connected during quarantine and the pandemic and especially with the gardening and the jar thing. I honestly think that that's something I would want to do too. Well, it's been great. Thank you so much. Thank you.